Hi folks, I'm Kevin Smith, one of the pastors here at Hope Lutheran Church. As the years roll by, now that I'm getting older, I love to collect different expressions or different uh, words of wisdom that others have shared. Let me uh, share with you these words that I've recently come across. I started out with nothing, and I still have most of it. My wild oats have turned into prunes and all brain. I finally got my head together, and now my body is falling apart. If all is not lost, then where is it? Some days you're the dog, some days you're the hydrant. I wish the buck stopped here. I could sure use a few more bucks. It's hard to make a comeback when you've never been anywhere. The only time a world beats a path to your door is when you're in the bathroom. If God wanted me to touch my toes, he would have put them on my knees. These days, I spend a lot of time thinking about the hereafter. I go somewhere to get something, and I wonder what I'm hereafter. Clever expressions of wisdom in our culture. The wisest person I know in the Bible, though, was Solomon. He had some wonderful insights. I love these words from Proverbs 16, verse 31. Gray hair, says Solomon, gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained by a righteous life. A righteous life is simply a God-honoring life, a life that can be a blessing to God and be a blessing to those around us that we encounter in our lives. I think back to my experience of learning wisdom the hard way from my son. I came home from, from, uh, from work one day, and Asher was just a little kid, probably five or six years old, even playing in the living room with all of his toys. And I came in the door and I, I saw all this stuff on the floor and I said, Asher, when you're done playing with your toys, please pick them up and put them away. He got mad at me for saying that. He stood up and he started to walk up the steps and he turned around halfway and he looked at me and he said, Dad, don't you know I'm not perfect? That little bit of wisdom served me well over the years. I realized that possessions were not as important as people. And people were most important, especially those that you love the most. Therefore, as we go through life, cling to that wisdom that God gives us. And wisdom comes from God. You gotta ask for it. It comes on a daily basis, but also it comes most of all from experience. And let that wisdom that you learn from God, the good times and the tough times, let it help you to live a righteous life, a life that is God-honoring and God-blessing to those around you. God bless. Thank you. And most of all, remember, God loves you, and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Amen.